So you've started experimenting with Midjourney, and you want to learn how to create all the cool AI art you see everyone else making, but you don't know how? In this video, I'll walk you through the process of how to upload an image and transform it into breathtaking AI art masterpieces. Let's get started. Here I am in a new private channel in Discord with the Midjourney bot. There are two ways to upload images. The first is to click on this plus icon and locate the image file on your computer. The second method is to simply drag and drop the image onto the Discord channel, but the key is to press enter to submit the message and complete the image upload. You can upload any image, but why should you upload reference images and how can you use them to create better AI art? To show you how much better your results get when you add reference images, let's first write up a prompt for neon portrait of a woman wearing sunglasses and use the parameter dash dash ar space three colon four. This will generate four images in a three by four aspect ratio rather than the standard square ratio if you leave this parameter out. And this is what Midjourney generates for us. Not bad, it's not exactly what I had in mind. These are more illustrative, vector-based rather than a realistic photo with depth of field and bokeh effects. So now let's use the same prompt, but add the image we just uploaded. But we need the direct URL in order to use it in a prompt. To do this, click on the image, then right-click and select Copy Image Address. Start your prompt with forward slash imagine space and paste the link of the image we just copied and add the same prompt, then press enter. You can see we're already starting to get much better results. The colors, the composition, the lighting. Midjourney is taking cues from the reference photo. Now you could stop here, but I would encourage you to use this as a starting point. Learn how to refine your prompts and create more of what you want. If there was one of these photos in particular you like and you want to go more in that direction, you could use the V buttons, but I'm going to use the Remix button to edit my prompt. In order to access this feature, you need to make sure it's enabled. Type forward slash settings and press enter to see your settings. Make sure Remix is selected. Then click Dismiss to get rid of the dialog. Now when we press the Remix button, we can add to our prompt. I want to see if we can get a closer, more zoomed in shot, so I'll add Close Up and press Submit. Some of these are closer up, but I'm going to try to refine again and use the Remix button to do so. This time I'll add Super Close Up and Hyper Realism to the end of the prompt to see what we get. This is much better, especially these first two, much more zoomed into the face, and all of them are more photorealistic. You can see how a few simple tweaks to your prompts can make a big difference. And you can keep going with this, continuing to add to a prompt. In this example, my goal was to create a portrait photo based off this reference image, but maybe you wanna use it to create a scene like I did in this image. If you found this video helpful, you might want to check out this one next on how to transform your reference images into truly unique AI art and learn how to refine your prompts more in the process.